Let's go up on the roof. All right, I'm gonna have to be fairly quick because the uh, roof is burning my feet. What I haven't shown yet is the fact that I've got a couple of solar panels up on the roof. These are 330 watt Canadian solars. I've had them up on the roof for a long time, but I never hooked them up because I didn't have a battery until just recently. They're going to go into the attic through this Solideck box. So what I need to do is run these wires out in through the bottom. I've got a couple of grommet options. So inside this box is a DIN rail and I've got a two pole breaker that I'm going to be installing on there and connecting these solar cables up to. I had a professional company come in and actually mount the panels drilling through my ceiling or through my roof. I wasn't willing to take a chance at that. So what they did though is they gave me, I don't have M4 crimpers, I think these are called M4. So they left me a couple of short runs that were already crimped so I can run them into the solar deck box. So the current plan is connect these up to the current panels, bring them in, tie them into the breaker. You've seen this before when I was building the breaker box. I've got two of them and then drop the wires down into the Sierra, into the attic. I plan to use conduit in the attic to get it down to the electrical room, which is where the batteries will eventually sit for good, and also a second run over to my office, where you usually see me do the filming. So I'm going to use this kind of conduit. It's, I think, three quarter inch ID. What I haven't decided yet is whether I'm gonna use the same conduit to go from the bottom of the box up over to underneath the panels. These wires are designed to be used outside. They're UV rated. Um, so I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. This is big enough that I could run two sets of these cables and I do plan to add a second pair of panels later. It's the most I can, I think I can reasonably expect to get on the boat. So it'll give me a good analog. I may add a wind generator at some point. This should be big enough to handle three pairs, six of these wires. So if I do this, I'll only need to have one hole. Alternatively, I can use a grommet that I got from the solar people that would let me run one pair per. So I'd need to have three of these coming up in through the bottom of the box. Whereas this one that's designed for this conduit, I'd only need to put one hole. But the question is, is it too thick compared to the hole size? So yeah, you can see. So that's what's going to be figured out first. I got a lot to figure out. Never done any of this before. This is all new, which I might as well just say for everything I'm doing. I may have to take a break and put some suntan lotion on. It is really bright out here today. I should also like to apologize. I have never filmed outdoors before, so I am kind of learning this part as I go as well. So this video might be not the best. Well, best by my standards, which is a pretty low bar. I have to learn to film outdoors for when I'm living on the boat anyway, so well, now's as good a time as any to learn. I have to climb up into the attic and I'm sure if the top of the roof is this hot now, it is going to be absolutely melting inside the attic. So the attic portion might have to come later. So that's the inside of the box. For the run that is going to go all the way down to the basement, I'm going to be running BX shielded residential wiring up to here, and that'll give me a tie to ground. I don't have that wire yet. I mean, I have the wire, it's downstairs, but it isn't run up to here. Oh, sweet shade. It isn't run up to here yet, so I need to figure that out. That is going to be where that goes. So there's the negative end. Oh, well, I have a problem. This chute just came to an end. I'm gonna to need to get M4 connector. I don't know how, but something has been grinding away at this and the wires are completely shot. So yeah, I, I'm stuck until I get an M4 crimper. Shit. Is the other one like that? How did that even happen? That just settled my uh, question though as to whether I'm going to use the, the three quarter inch conduit. Definitely, if only for some additional mechanical protection. I don't know what chewed that away, but I have to assume that if it was in this conduit, 
it wouldn't have happened as easily. I suppose I should never be too upset whenever I have an excuse to buy a new tool. Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's it, we're done. See you next time on the Digital Mermaid. For just a minute there, I kind of forgot who I was. I don't give up that easy. Why do I have to have the T4, M4, whatever connectors they're called? I've got barrel, uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? Why do I forget words all the time? T butt connectors, that's the word. I have butt connectors. Why don't I just cut these T4, M4 connectors, whatever they are, off and butt connect them and we're back in business. I'm not gonna stop just because a connector is bad. Let's get going. All right, so now with some proper sun protection, sunscreen, and barrel connectors, let's see if my plan of going straight from one end to the other is gonna work. I should mention that I know the panels are uncovered, I know that they're generating power, and I'm treating this like a live system. You know what? I'm gonna go get a blanket and I'm also gonna get some heat shrink tubing that's the resin filled stuff for the extra waterproofing. Clamping onto the support strut, not onto the panels. There, one solar system off switch. All right, that seems on nice and tight. Let me verify that was indeed the positive. Yeah, it's the positive. I don't know if you can see that, but I remember the gentleman checking this, so I'm comfortable that that is accurate. If not, I'll be able to check the polarity downstairs before I turn it on anyway. 10 gauge UV rated wire. So I think I'm gonna run the conduit in down between the middle. The next two panels will go here beside this one. So I'm gonna want that conduit to be relatively close to this side. So that when I bring those wires, I can fish them up as well. I also want to leave enough slack that I can pull the whole thing out so I can feed it and shove it back in. So yeah, this is gonna take a little figuring. Oops, <laughs> okay, I tried to cut with a 12 gauge. Let's cut that on because I are off because I clearly damaged the copper inside. Let's do it with the right size this time. Now, this wire I got before I knew about tinned copper. So if you see, I don't know if it comes across, but you see how it's got the actual copper color. I will not use this on the boat. It's purely for the house installation and it will stay on the house installation, which is also why I'm kind of keen to use it up. There we go. Obviously don't have any power up here, so I can't use my heat gun. Oh, shit, if I can even see where the flame is. I can't tell if the wind's blowing my flame out. Whoa, come back here. I don't think this is working. All right, I have another idea. I'll worry about it later. It's on there, so it's fine. As in, I'm not gonna lose it. It is currently September 4th, I think. 
September 3rd. It should not be this hot out. Not in Canada. I'm going to take this lighter downstairs before it pops and get something stronger. When you need portable heat, you don't have electricity and you're done playing around. Well, that worked. So like I said, I want a fair bit of slack on this, but not too much. So, and I'm also going to use this grommet for the three quarter inch conduit. Woo, should have glasses. Ow, 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 ow. That's hot metal. Not even close yet. A little bit more. Hopefully you can see more than just my arm. Perfect. This is not weather tight. The reason it's okay is because the wire itself is watertight. This is just mechanical protection. There we go. Again. That should be about enough slack right there. And I did not bring anything to cut this with. Oh God, I'm so smart sometimes. I'm gonna cut myself if I do that. I mean, I might cut myself anyway because I'm a klutz. Once this stuff is scored, it snaps really easy. It's just getting that initial score that's tricky. I'm gonna try to tie this off to the leg in here. So, I want that should do nicely. Now, even though I've covered the panels, I'm still treating them like they're live, so I'm cutting one at a time. Generally speaking, it's a good rule of thumb to just always treat everything as live. If it's not, you're safe. If it is, well, you've built good habits and you're safer. And I'm sure there's some people sitting there going, but Maddie, what about when you did this stupid thing or that stupid thing? Well, I'm not perfect. All right, that looks good. Actually, I'm gonna space these apart so they have less chance of touching. There's the ground, or sorry, the negative, it's not ground. positive. Might have left a bit too much for the service loop. You can always cut stuff off easier than you can put it back on. I'm sure right now all you're seeing is the back of my head. So I do not believe it matters which side is positive and which side is negative. You don't see me stripping the wires here, but you've seen me do it enough times. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. It's all the way loose. Now, what you probably can't see me doing is making sure that the jacket or the insulating layer of the wire is not being crimped. It's only the copper being crimped. And to be absolutely clear, it is too effing hot right now for me to climb up in the attic. So I'm probably gonna end this soon and put this up as just a short video. I'm gonna try the more but shorter approach to videos for a bit and see how that goes. There we go. 
that's enough for now. I'll give you a quick overview of what's done. Sorry for the shaky hands. I am absolutely exhausted right now with the heat. So we have the wire going into the breakers. The breakers are currently off, looped around, goes through the conduit. Conduit is tied off to one of the legs. That wire is gonna have to get cleaned up and tied off underneath. I will do that off camera. I'm gonna take the solar play on the blanket off because now it's safe. It's tied into the disconnected breaker and it's probably gonna rain before I get back up here. The sun is your friend when you've got solar. The sun is not your friend when you're installing solar.